What's going on everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out my very first Fallout 76 Wastelanders Nuke Experiment. This is season two to my Nuke Experiment series. We got all kinds of different locations to be targeting. I'm going to be kickstarting this series off for season two, of course, against the new settlements, Foundation and the Crater. I'll be nuking the Settlers place first, and then I'll move on to the Raiders place next. These areas have been highly questioned on what would exactly happen when we do nuke these locations. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be saving you all time and doing it myself to let you all know what does officially happen. So if it's not worth it, well, hey, in the long run, I saved a lot of players time, and now we know what exactly happens. That's basically what this series is about. Breaking curiosities and saving players time by us taking the time and going to target these specific locations and figuring out what exactly does happen. So yeah, on that note, if you are curious about any other locations to target within the Fallout 76 Wastelanders update and you'd like to see what exactly happens when we do drop a nuke at that specific location, feel free to jot it down below in the comments and we may get around to doing it within this series. But uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this. You do yeah. not have to nuke my camp to have that thing come out. Like, there's... No. Like... Yeah, you don't. Bro. That at all. But okay. Wait, let me Where's your camp at exactly? Oh, you can't mark it. It's right above the monorail elevator, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. It's cool yeah, to see players yeah. farming the Wendigo Colossus now, but that has to it's... suck that your camp's going to be constantly yeah. a target. Oh, I knew that. Like, once I figured that... That was gonna be the hot spot. I knew that, but all right. So let's do this. Story. <laughs> oh gosh, my nuke's gonna be right next to his. Oh. I feel sorry for anyone that's actually doing the storylines right now. Yeah. <laughs> because a nuke is incoming. Hey man, that's what this game's about, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Charles is in the blast zone. It's <laughs> kind of new, Charles. <laughs> Yeah, Nuke Charles. <laughs> the hell, man? Bro. You know, I might as well just hit up the Wendigo Colossus after I check out Foundation, since the area's yeah. there. Just run back and forth until we encounter it. Mm -hmm. Something that I can confirm, the pepperoni roll, you can get that recipe from the new riding shotgun event. Oh, okay. He just... Hooked me up with a pepperoni roll. Uh, oh, what? It increases your carry weight by 30. Oh, what? Nice. Dang. Oh, it's about like when you eat it, right? Oh, okay. yeah. 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 yeah, I'm... yeah. Nice. Well, that confirmed that. That's definitely a recipe worth getting. All right, let's go see what happened to the settlers. I know they can't die. The main quest, they can't die because that would affect everybody. You're launching a new two game? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> give Where at? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this around the way. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting his camp because he nuked yours. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't mad yeah. about that. It was just the fact that when I came back in, I couldn't get back in. Then I crashed when I came back in. So it was a lot of that. So, you know. <laughs> That's great. Solid love, though, baby. Solid love. What's his name? Uh, what was his name? Chiseled Line 76. He is more than likely not going to uh, leave. He's probably not even going to be thinking that his camp's getting nuked. I've I've made that mistake quite a bit. Oh, this guy's in a rat suit. Oh. Um, you. I've heard some amazing stories about you. You're a legend. They're just talking to me like like nothing happened. Mm -hmm. Come on. Be talking about the nuke. Yeah, they should be talking about the nuke. Come on. Yeah, if they're in hazmat suits, you know, the developers took the time to make it so they changed into hazmat suits. You'd think possibly the developers would take some time to add in some voice recordings yeah. like, experiencing this. There we go, now I can build it. I don't know though, I just got here. I'm getting sick of potatoes, I know they're easy to grow. Oh, that reminds me. Where is the farm? Oh, this is Ward. Oh no. I thought it was Ward because of the coffee cup. That looks hilarious though. Dude just chilling there drinking his coffee in a hazmat suit. Like how is that even working? <laughs> yeah, how is that even possible? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Come on, take a sip, buddy. 
<laughs> he just just puts it in his glass. Like, yep, hmm. nothing's happening here. There goes his camp. Even the farmland here didn't turn to flux. That's weird. It's like, yeah, that, that's weird. Um, there, you said you nuked yeah. foundation. Yeah, there's some, uh, like, corn and, uh, potatoes and stuff over there that are actually nuked, Laura. I found them when you nuked it the other day. For some reason, it didn't change this time. Huh. Yeah, I'm at them right now. It must be random, then. Oh, I, I see some. Maybe. I see this still being turned into a neutron pod. All about flux. Yeah, they're just going on with their day like nothing's happening here. That's funny. But they're wearing hazmat suits. I mean, I know that would have took the developers extra time to add in the voice recordings, but it would have been so cool if we got to see, or I mean, not see, hear human NPCs like react to what's going on. Since nuking is a big part of this game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Kane, you're telling me you ran into something. Or you ran into a human NPC that reacted over in Nuke Zone, didn't you? Yeah, she was, uh, yeah, when I was looking for the Colossus, she was walking and she didn't have on a hazmat suit, so I'm like, and she was limping. So I'm like, oh, how the hell is she alive? And when I went up to her, she was screaming, and she was like, she was like, it burns, it burns, it burns. She oh, was like, yeah. she's like, uh, she's like, I thought the war, yeah, Mystic was with me. She was like, I thought the war was over with, and... It was like a couple more dialogue, and after that, it gave you the option to either give her a rat away or a rat X. And I was stupid because I should have gave her a rat X because that would have stopped the burn for like, I forget how yeah. long. Oh, what? But I gave her a rat away. So when I gave her the rat away, she was like, oh, thank you. She's like, I feel better. And literally, like, you see her walking, and then she starts limping, and she's like, it burns, it burns. <laughs> <laughs> I want to experience that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's awesome. And I didn't think about, yeah. like I said, we were so on trying to get the Colossus. I didn't even think we yeah. collected it. Or I was more worried about it. I think it was the first time we were looking for the Colossus, so I was more, more or less worried about that. But now I'm thinking about it. Because that's details that players mm. really don't think about, but, you know, the developers are... You know, adding those voice lines, talking and screaming like that, just for us to experience that, which is pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so yeah, that was our results in a nutshell. We went over there and we saw them in hazmat suits, so we got a little excited that we may be hearing some special dialogue from them. However, it's like the human NPCs that are there didn't even realize whatsoever that the area was highly radiated. But at the same time, that doesn't really make any sense because they have hazmat suits on. I don't know. Maybe this could be something in the future the developers could add within the game. I'm not exactly sure how tough this would be and how much time it would take them to add this, but I have to admit, it would be something pretty neat for players to experience. Anyway, speaking about this, my buddy Kane actually experienced a lady that he randomly found when searching for the Colossus screaming at the top of her lungs saying it was burning. And she was talking about the radiation from the nuke zone. And he mentioned that he found that random encounter right around here. So when you are farming for the Wendigo Colossus, I recommend maybe looking out for this screaming lady. You possibly could find her. Seems pretty interesting, and it's kind of crazy to think about. You know, the developers do take time adding in these small details of, of just a lady experiencing a nuke zone. Which, by the way, in case you don't know how to exactly spawn the Colossus, I'll have a comprehensive video guide over how to spawn it down below in the description. So just feel free to check out that anytime you're done watching this. It'll also pop up at the very end of this video as well. You can just simply click the picture to go to the video. But yeah, speaking of the Colossus, we actually ran into it when Kane was showing us the spot where he found that random encounter over that lady screaming about the radiation. <laughs> this fight is a lot of fun to take on. Unfortunately, though, it isn't as powerful as, say, going up against the Scorch Beast Queen. Also, it's not an event as well versing this thing. It doesn't notify the whole entire map that the fight is going on. Would have been awesome if we got something like that added within Wastelanders. However, so far, it seems like that's not the case. Who knows, though? Maybe when we start searching a bit more, we may discover something. Anyways, as for the Raider settlement, the crater, it was the same scenario. All the Raiders had hazmat suits on, but it's like, other than that, they had no awareness over them being in a nuke zone. They were going about things like it was completely normal. I did 
find a bit of Nuke 4 over here, but nothing beneficial or super interesting, sadly. It would have been awesome, but yeah, not the case. Maybe something, though, that Bethesda will add sometime in the future. I have no idea. Honestly, it would have been just cool seeing, like, personalized Raider hazmat suits and personalized Settler hazmat suits. But, once again, nothing changed whatsoever nuking these areas. But... In the end, that is what this series is about. We're just experimenting so players don't have to waste their time nuking at these specific locations. And I know a lot of players were curious about nuking the new settlements that were coming into the game. In a way, however, it is still a success over uploading this video because it lets players know not to waste their time targeting these locations because you know we're doing that for them within this series. But yeah, like I mentioned near the beginning of this video, if you have any recommendations of a location for us to target within Fallout 76 Wastelanders, feel free to add it down below in the comments, and we may get around to doing it. Suggestions are highly appreciated. It helps keep the series rolling. And real quick here, before I completely wrap up this video, if you found this enjoyable, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on it because it helps get the video more passed around the Fallout community. And hey, maybe if you're new around here, consider giving my channel a chance and sticking around and subscribing for more Fallout 76 content. I have dedicated my entire channel over this game. But yeah, I'm out of here everybody. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.